Hi, my name is Cleve Drummond and this is my wife. I'm Rhonda Drummond. How are you doing? We're both students in the Coursera program in... Uh, remediation of video games. And this is our final essay, I guess you could say, on taking the poem Ithaca and turning it into a game. We're using the Neverwinter Nights 1 Aurora game engine as well as the CEP Community Expansion Pack 2.4. We will have this module available for download and the information will be included at the YouTube site. So here we are in the starting area that CEP originally comes with and I've taken and added a door which will go to the online game area. By the way, it's not really online, but Neverwinter Nights 1, depending on the server that you're using, you can have anywhere from 8 to 64 people able to play on one time. So, the information on this door. To Ithaca, Journey Towards Ithaca, a remediation of the poem Ithaca, translated by Daniel Mendelssohn, by Cleve and Rhonda Drummond. As you set out on the way to Ithaca, hope that the road is a long one, filled with adventures, filled with understanding. And as we've been working on this, we've got about 35 hours of actual construction time and talking back and forth between me and my wife and getting all the information in here. This is a base. There are no monsters in here except for two, and there's only one other NPC that has been added, but it is fully capable of being expanded into many different areas and many different possibilities, as you'll see. So we have loading right now at Journey's Beginning. And an interesting note about the actual poem itself, in many ways it is about life. And death. Our first signpost. As you set out on the way to Ithaca, hope that the road is a long one, filled with adventures, filled with understanding. And then we continue with life's journey. Here we have a long way to go. We're just starting out on our journey. We see things as we transpire along the way. We see that there's a castle to the right, and an opening to the left but we also see a signpost along the way. I'll let my wife read this one to you. Let find the, the Landstrug... I can barely read that. Landstragonians and Cyclops, that Savage Poseidon. You'll not encounter them unless you carry them within your soul, unless your soul sets them upon before you. So... Unless the soul sets them above, unless your soul sets them up before you. So, as in life, we have a choice. We can continue down the path that we were going. We could go to the right to explore a castle, or we could go down into where Poseidon's rage sets, with the path that goes down amongst all the ships that have been wrecked upon the rocky shores. And to the left, well, it said that there were Cyclops. Cyclops and the translated meaning would be cannibals. And as we see, there they are down there. But we're not going to take that route. We're going to cross the bridge and continue with our journey. Peaceful meadows. But... There is adventure if you choose it. Like I said, this could be a base for a rather big module for Neverwinter Nights. And here's another starting post. Hope that the road is a long one. Many may the summer's morning be. When just what pleasures with what joy. And up ahead we have a diversion. As we know, life is all about diversions and choices. And here we have 
Well, she could be a siren. She could be a worker of the night. She could be anything that the designer of this module could want her to be. But that is not our path. We are continuing on. to Meadows Harbor. Here we are in Meadows Harbor. A quaint little area full of potential. Caves, doors, waterfalls. Caves possibly behind waterfalls. The thing with Neverwinter Nights 1 in the game engine, there is so much you can do. You hear the waterfalls here? Well, when you first lay the place out, you actually have to place all the sounds to be able to get them the way that you want. And here's a continuation of our journey. And at the next signpost, you'll understand. Things are getting a bit drier. And here's our next signpost. Ivica, you first put in into harbors new to your eyes. May you stop at Phoenician trading posts and there acquire fine goods, mother of pearl and coral and amber and ebony and heady perfumes as you can. So what a game designer could do with this area is add merchants that require these items before you can actually take and continue on with your adventure. Side quests could abound in this area. As I said, this is a base layout. And here's another post. To many Egyptian cities you may go, and we are going to continue with life's journey. You notice as we go along, this is a progression of the poem itself. And how I see it, and how my wife sees it, in our mind's eye. Now we're at the Sage's Harbor. And our next signpost. So you may learn and go on learning from their sages. The great thing about this engine is you can actually take and have sounds go off at random intervals or whenever you choose to make them do so. Even though the graphics nowadays are not what we all expect to see, not like you do in Latro and World of Warcraft and uh, Guild Wars, it is still a solid classic engine to work with. Considering how old it is, it looks great. Always keep Ithaca in your mind. To reach her is your destiny. So we shall board a ship to the next destination. Here we are on an island. Not originally what the poem means, but you'll see from the plaque how this could be misunderstood. But do not rush your journey in the least. Better that it lasts for many years. And that you drop anchor at the island of uh, an old man, rich with that you have gotten on the way, not expecting it because you make you rich. So, if you think about it, this isn't an isle of rich, this is an isle of richness. All that you've acquired along your way friends, family, experiences. wisdom that comes with experiences. Ithaca gave you the beautiful journey. Without her, you'd have not 
set upon the road. Look at the Ithaca. Here we are at our journey's end, Ithaca. But she has nothing left to give you anymore. And if you find her poor, Ithaca did not deceive you. She never made me promises. Up ahead in the light, we see Ithaca. The representation we chose to give her. And if you think about it, it's really Lady Death. As wise as you'll have become with so much experience, you'll have the understanding by then what these Ithacas mean. Life's journey complete. So, this is our presentation of the poem Ithaca remediated into a game platform. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.